Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Okay, today's chapter is air around us. Okay, sir. Air is present all around us. All living things need air to breathe, including the human beings. Air is a mixture of mainly two gases, that are oxygen and nitrogen. Air is dense near the Earth's surface. As we go up, it becomes thinner. It means that the oxygen gas is less as we go up. This is the reason why mountaineers take oxygen cylinders with them. What is an atmosphere? Sir, the envelope of air surrounding the Earth is called atmosphere. Very good, Jerry. Now I will tell you the full explanation of atmosphere. The envelope of air around the Earth is called atmosphere. It traps the heat from the sun to keep the Earth warm. It also protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. Moving air helps in the formation of different weathers, hot and cold, and windy. The Earth's gravitational pull. It supports the life with the oxygen content. Layers of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is divided into four layers, first troposphere, second stratosphere, third ionosphere, fourth exosphere. Look at the picture given on the board. Now let me tell you about the layers. Troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. About 80% of all the air of the atmosphere is in the troposphere. All weather changes take place in this layer. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere, there is no weather in the stratosphere. Clouds are rare in this layer, this is why aircraft usually fly in this layer. The ozone layer is the part of the stratosphere. It observes the harmful radiation coming from the sun. Ionosphere reflects the radio waves back to the Earth. With its health radio signals can be sent around the world. In the boat this picture shows the radio waves in the ionosphere and space shuttles. Exosphere it is the outermost layer. The exosphere fear is where the Earth's atmosphere becomes the part of the space. Sir, I know one fact about Mount Everest. Wow, Jerry tell that fact please. Fact time. Sir. The fact is that the Mount Everest lies in the triple sphere. Thank you, Jerry, for telling that fact. Now let's continue our class. Composition of air. Jerry, tell me how many percentage of nitrogen is there in air? Sir, 78 percentage. Good, now tell me how many percentage of oxygen is in air? Sir, 21 percent. Very good, Jerry, you are very good in science. Okay, everyone I will explain you about composition of air. We know that air is a mixture of gases. The two main contents of air are nitrogen and oxygen. In addition to these, air also contains small quantities of carbon dioxide, water vapor and traces of other gases. Look at the other properties of air at the board. I will tell you the percentage of each property of air, nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%, carbon dioxide 0.03%, other gases 0.97%. Air and breathing. The most important gas for all living beings is oxygen, which forms about one-fifth or 21 percentage of air. All living things, both plant and animal respire. When we breathe, we take in fresh air, this is called, inspired air or inhaled air. The air we breathe out is called, expired air or exhaled air, blood in the lungs take oxygen from the air we breathe in and carries it to all the parts of the body. Here it is used to burn food which gives energy for work and play. As a result of burning of food, carbon dioxide is given out from the body with exhaled air. Exhaled air has a higher percentage of carbon dioxide than the inhaled air. It is also warmer than inhaled air. Plants, in addition to respiration, also carry out a process called photosynthesis. Full stop in this process, plants prepare their own food with the help of carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. During this process, oxygen is released into the atmosphere. Air is also necessary for burning, we can prove this by the activity given on the board. Please do this activity to understand better. Properties of air. Let us study about different properties of air. Air occupies space and so inflates things. You know know that air has mass and occupies space, since air occupies space, it can be filled in two things like balloons and mattresses. It is also due to this property of air that a football bladder, tubes in car, scooters and cycles can be inflated. Thus, by filling air in different things okay, we use them in different ways. By filling air in swimming tubes, people swim without any fear. Air exerts pressure. Since air has weight, it definitely exerts pressure. 
when you suck some soft drink with the help of a straw, you actually suck the air from the straw. So, there is very little pressure inside the straw hence the liquid from the bottle is pushed up into the straw on account of higher pressure of air outside the straw on the liquid in simple terms, by sucking out of the straw, the space in the straw becomes empty and the liquid rushes to take the place of air on the same principle, you can understand the working of a medicine dropper, fountain pen and syringe used by doctors for injections. Other examples of air pressure. Working of lift pump or hand pump. A common lift pump works on the same principle as a syringe or a drinking straw. What happens to the valves will the piston moves up. The pressure inside the pump is reduced and the valve at the bottom opens to allow the water brush above the valve. Thus, repeating this process, water can be obtained from the well. Working of a siphon. Water has the property, like all liquid, to flow from higher level to lower level. It tries to seek its own level. It is the air pressure which pushes the liquid through a siphon. Take a twice bent glass tube. Insert the shorter in the beaker of water placed on a wooden block and the longer in an beaker, at low level as shown in the diagram now suck the air from the longer arm. What do you see? You will find that water starts flowing. When will water stop flowing? The water will continue to flow till the level of the water in the both beakers is the same. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel Little Master. Share and like.